What's up guys? So, today is the day that I leave for my Europe trip. I can't explain how excited I am. You're probably like, what is this kitchen? I have moved, finally, I've moved. Um, things are still in boxes and stuff, but I don't care, because I'm going on the Euro trip. Um, today, or today's video anyway, is just gonna be kind of me walking through what I'm bringing, um, maybe little updates and things like that of what's going on today. But there won't, there probably won't be anything actually on the bike, because uh, that will be the next video. Because uh, we don't leave until 11 p.m. tonight. Our Euro train is at like three in the morning. Because um, technically we weren't going to leave till tomorrow, but we thought we'd get an early train and then we get all of tomorrow. If that makes sense to like travel. Because um, today is the longest day. It's like 13 hours. We've got to ride from here to um, to the Euro train and then into France. So. Gonna be pretty good. Well, I say today, tomorrow. You know what I mean. Like, it's gonna be 13 hours from. Anyway, let's talk about what I'm bringing to start with. Um, and then we'll talk about some of the problems I've had with the bike and what Brad's bringing, who is Brad, blah, 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 blah. So, day number one, let's do this. Okay, so. Let's begin of what I'm bringing. This, everything here is what I'm bringing. Um, also two uh, disc locks and stuff, um, but they're on the bike at the moment, so they're not here. Uh, but I think pretty much everything's here that I'm bringing. So, obviously the main thing, these are my waterproof bottoms that I'm bringing. Then the levers, the new levers, the new boots, the new gloves. I'm also bringing the winter gloves, just in case at like, night it gets cold. But we're looking at like, it's all going to be over 20 degrees during the day. So it's going to be a real mess. Um, this is the little backpack I'm bringing. I wasn't going to bring a backpack, but this has a little water slot thing there. Put my camel back so I can just drink on the go. Uh, obviously that's full of vodka, so we're going to be good. That is all my paperwork, my international driver permit, my passport, my driving license, my money, um, so if you want to rob me, rob that, uh, that's got everything I need basically, my EpiPen just in case I eat their nuts and I die, some super glue which we'll talk about in a bizzle because it's something to do with the bike, some zip ties because you know my bike is always held on by zip ties, some sunglasses just in case, that was actually on my keys, it's actually a torch. Um, some duct tape, or actually it's just electric tape, but my GoPro batteries, this is a, what size is this, I don't know what size, Allen key, uh, that basically gets my seat off, uh, so I'm bringing that with me so I can just take the seat off because that's my waterproof bag, which is going to hold all my clothes and stuff in. Obviously you've seen the helmet many times, don't ask why it's sat on the towel, it just is. Now, one tip for you, because my eyesight is, I've got really good eyesight, but my, um, I don't know how to explain this, in the sun, my eyes are really weak, that's why I always have a tinted visor, um, but, I'm bringing these sunglasses, so at night, I can just lift up my visor on that, and if it rains, I don't get pummeled in the eye, zzz, um, by the rain, obviously, uh, European travel socket things, keys, uh, toothbrush, shaver, because you know, uh, pubes. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, all my kind of medical stuff, tablets, hay fever stuff. All my clothes are there in a pile, they're going to go in there in a sec. I've also got um, a little laptop that's in there and it's charger and my one terabyte hard drive so I can each day offload all the stuff I record straight onto that laptop, straight onto the hard drive and we're good to go for the next day. In my wallet over there is all my SD cards. Um, my 126, 128 gig SD cards broken so I haven't got that. I've got two 32 gigs and two 64 gigs SD cards I think. 
thermal jumper, that's what I'm going to be wearing tonight, uh, just in case it gets cold, earplugs, that is to attach to my bike, uh, I bought that little USB socket thing so I can plug that in, charge my phone on the go because I use my phone as a sat nav, waterproof jacket that goes over my leathers, spare rear brake pads, spare front brake pads, I've got two sets because we put uh, we put a set of the rear brake pads on. Did we? No, we didn't. Did we? No, we didn't. So, I didn't update the brake pads uh, in the end. Because um, I'm just going to do it together. So, that's... I was being dumb. Sorry. One rear brake pad. One front brake pad. And another front brake pad. Because I have two calipers. I completely forgot about that. So, I had to order another one of these. Um... So we have a new set of whole brake pads to go on mid of the trip. Over here we have what has been a faff because we bought this rear rental sprocket which I have to say weighs nothing but it's got still I think it's got steel teeth so it's still really strong. Um, amazing quality. Um, but for some reason you can't use the stock carrier with an aftermarket sprocket so you have to get an aftermarket carrier it was really i don't know why they don't sell them with them um because i brought a whole chain of sprocket kit and for some reason you have to buy this separately anyway that will go on in like italy or something um i put a new wrist a uh, front sprocket on and a new chain but i haven't put a new rear sprocket on to because it was fine but obviously we're doing a load of miles so i bring that just in case that is going to go in that bag all of this is going to go in that bag, and then everything else is going to go in that bag. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, it's going to be very interesting. Um, you'll meet Brad very soon. Like I should, I've introduced him in the video and stuff. You've seen him in videos before. Um, he has bought. He had a Suzuki DRZ four hundred. Um, that he was going to bring, but unfortunately that got stolen um, not long ago. It got recovered, but it was just too damaged, and in the end he was just like, Do you know what, I want a bike that I can just, something cheap that I can just take on the trip anyway. And he got an amazing deal, you'll see the bike, amazing deal on a Suzuki GS500, I think 2004. And I mean this bike is spotless. It is so clean, and he got it for 750 quid. I couldn't believe it. I thought he would have paid like three grand for it. Um, if you've seen the Henstridge video, which you would have seen because this comes after, um, I do take that out, and it feels exactly like the R3. Like it's both; they're both parallel twins. But this GS, 750 quid, and it's immaculate. Like it's really good. But we'll see if any problems come about. He's already had a. I think the fuel line went on it, so it was pissing out fuel yesterday. Uh, so he's he's fixed that all up. So we probably will run into some problems. I'm bloody uh, I'm bloody on a Ducati, so I will run into problems. Um, but my hyper motor is supposed to be really reliable. Like it's the newer model hyper motor that aren't reliable. Mine is very reliable. If you search up, there's very few common problems with them. Um, but yeah, we'll um, I'll show you the bike in a minute. I can show you the garage. I think. I don't want to show too much of this house um, because we're quite open um, and I don't want to give away where I live and stuff, which I know you all understand. While I'm here, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who donated. Um, I've raised a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I've done a lot of like uh, donations in person, uh, going up to people, family, friends, work colleagues, and they've donated a ridiculous amount. At the end of the trip, um, I'll do one more video showing where I go up to the Blood Bikers um, place <laughs> and uh, give them the money um, because I think I put down, what, 100 quid for everyone to raise and my very good friend Jeremy, uh, he doesn't like being called, sorry, Jem, he doesn't like called, being called Jeremy, uh, Jem donated, yeah, was it yesterday or the day before, it might have been the day before, 250 quid. So, a massive thank you to him. Make sure, in the dis comments, not the description, in the comments, smash like, just 
show him some love because, you know, you could go into some problems, need some blood, and that 250 quid could save your life. So he could have saved your life. So he's a legend. I love him to bits. I think that's everything. I don't want to keep, like, I'm, try I'm going to try and record bits and bobs on my phone. Um, most of it's going to be through the GoPro, but I've got to try and keep this stuff short. But anyway, that's that. Updated everything you need to know, I think. If I remember something, I'll tell you later. Yeah. Let's do this, guys. It's going to be so good. I cannot wait. Like... Ah, I'm so excited. I forgot. This is my triangle thing and high vis, and in there is also the like uh, stupid uh, alcohol testing and all that stuff you need. So I'm legal. So we're good. Okay. Uh, 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 how do I turn this around? Uh,